Hello, warlocks of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the 22nd episode of our Electrifications Honor 3 kind of series. Uh, real quick, this channel is not meant for kids, so if you're a kid, I'm going to ask you to leave. Uh, it's nothing against you, it's just the way YouTube wants us to do it now. Today we're going to be taking a look at a pretty interesting one. This one, t t t technically folded into the main rules, but I'll explain the differences between the two. Today we're looking at Shroud of Ulban. Um, this is super cool, honestly, there's a ton of deep lore attached to Ulban in and of himself, but that's not going to be covered in this video. Uh, we're just focusing on the evocation, that's it. Uh, with that being said, let's get to the description here. First and foremost, there are two prerequisites. Uh, you have to be at least 18th level, and you have to have chosen the Great Old One as your patron. Uh, so this will be one of those top tier ones, at least in the Unearthed Arcana. Uh, it reads as followed. The blue-white star of Ulban maintains a fickle presence among the stars, fluttering into view only to herald a dire omen as an action. You can turn invisible for one minute. If you attack, deal damage, or force a creature to make a saving throw, you become visible at the end of the current turn. Very interesting stuff. Um, this later kind of, sort of, became a Shroud of Shadow, um, which is a 15th level ability, not 18th. So there's a couple differences between the two in of itself. Uh, in any case, so let's take a look at the overview real quick here. Uh, use an action to become invisible for one minute. You remain invisible until you attack, deal damage, or force a creature to make a save. Uh, while you're invisible, you can't be seen without magic or special senses. Attacks have advantage against you. Or, uh, sorry, a, 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 attacks against you have disadvantage, my bad. And attacks you shoot out have advantage. So, um, a couple differences. First and foremost, um, Shroud of Shadow just lets you cast Invisibility. Uh, it is a concentration spell, so in that way, Shroud of Ulban, a little bit better. Sure, Invisibility traditionally lasts an hour, and this one lasts a minute, but whatever. Um, there's also one with Shadow, um, which is kind of a lower level version of Invisibility, kind of, sort of. So that one basically lets you uh, become invisible within areas of dim light or darkness. And it lasts until you move or take an action or reaction. That is fifth level. So I would put this. Hmm, it's a little tricky, actually. I really do like this. I would probably allow it in my game. It's probably at ninth level. Kind of meet in the middle, right? Um, provide kind of like a step between one with shadows and shroud of shadow. Um, what I think makes this a little bit better than one with shadow is you can move. So it's a great way to escape. Fantastic way to escape. Um, but outside of that, yeah, I, I get your point. Can't really do much else. But you can still use it to get the heck out of dodge. And a minute while you're taking the dash action, super good. Honestly, you can clear a ton of distance. Um, that being said, guys, that's about all I have to say on this particular vacation. If you have any ideas, cool stories, thoughts, comments, concerns, or combination ideas, please let me know in the comments down below. I really appreciate it, and I love interacting with you guys. That being said, have a great day, and as always, happy casting.